Hi guys, mambo vipi? Karibu tena. Happy housekeeper. Naitwa Happiness, niko Warabuni. Kama unaangalia kwa mara ya kwanza, karibu sana. Na kama uja subscribe, unasubiri nini? Subscribe ni mara moja. Iko. Sasa tunaendelea na story ya kaka yangu hii. Siku moja babangu mmoja hivi tulikuwa tunaongea kuhusu mambo ya watoto. Kama haujui basi mimi nina mtoto. So, alikuwa anaongea kwamba Uwezi ukamwacha mtoto wako hata kama amekuumiza kiasi gani inatakiwa uwe naye pamoja siku zote Mimi nikamwambia hivi sasa kama mtoto unamkanya asiki unamkanya asiki unafanyaje nikamwambia kama ni mimi mimi namwacha tu aendelee na maisha yake Sikuwa namuelewa eh alikuwa ananiambia hapana uwezi nilikuwa simuelewi eh kipindi hicho ni kipindi ambacho shetani alikuwa anatembea kichwani mwangu yani ukiwa una hasira na maisha unaweza kufanya vitu vya kichaa vitu vya uazimu. Okay, kufanya maamuzi magumu au ku, kuadhibu mtoto wako bila kutumia akili na kutulia. Nilikuwa na stress yangu. Kwa hiyo kila alichokuwa ananiambia mimi nilikuwa sikielewi. Ninavozidi kukua nao naelewa point yake. Ndio kuna muda mtoto anaweza ukamuelekeza asikii eh but ongea, uwezi kuacha kuongea. Kitu zaidi ambacho unaweza kufanya ni kumuombea. Nimekuja kutambua hivyo. Hata kama utakuwa uongei sana ndio utapunguza kuongea lakini muombe. Uwezi kujua nguvu ulionayo ile ya kuomba mtoto wako akabadilika. Kwa nini nimeanzia hii story huko? Nimeanzia hii story kuhusu kaka yangu. Najua wazazi huwa tunaumizwa na watoto wetu. Bado naendelea kukua na bado najifunza vitu. Eh? Najua watoto huwa wanatuumiza sana mpaka inafikia hatua unatamani umtelekeze, umtupe kule. Lakini hata kama ameondoka nyumbani ameenda kuishi sehemu nyingine, wewe usiache kumwombea mtoto wako kwa sababu unavomtelekeza nazidi kupotea. Kwa hiyo sasa nilifurahi sana kaka yangu alivorudi hata kama alirudi mikono mitupu. Nilifurahi kwa sababu amerudi mzima wa afya, hana magonjwa. Siku zote nilikuwa naomba Mungu yani huyu mtu aliyo mtukutu arudi tu hapa mzima wa afya hata kama ni amerudi hana kitu. Arudi tu mzima wa afya. Ni nyumbani. Unajua vijana lazima ataruka huku na wanawake ruka huku na ruka ni kuomba tu Mungu arudi hivyo. Japokuwa alivoharibu kiukweli niliumia kama ndugu yangu wewe ndo wa, wa, wa kwanza kuzaliwa wewe unafuata alafu unaona hana hana uelekeo wa maisha unaumia baadaye unasema pote ya habari lakini haikuwa solution alivorudi nyumbani akasema sisa mimi nimerudi kitu kilichonifurahisha kwamba dada nimerudi na sijakata tamaa na mimi nilimwambia kabisa you know what umerudi usikate tamaa anzia hapo hapo nilipata nguvu kaka zangu kina dada zangu kwa nini naongea hii story kama naweza kusema namsema na kaka yangu no sio kwamba kaka yangu tu ndo wameharibu kwenye haya maisha ya dunia no sio wa kwanza na hata kuwa wa mwisho ni wengi wameharibu kwa hiyo naamua kusema hii hi, uenda nawe pia kaka yako ameharibu lakini umemkatia tamaa muombe ameharibu amerudi nyumbani amesema sister mimi nimerudi dada mimi nimerudi tuanze upya eh usijifanye tu kwa sababu wewe unashika vishingi tatu au uja mess up like him ukaanza kumdharau kwa sababu hana kitu unaanza kumdharau no uwezi kujua aliyokuweka hapo jua anaweza kukufurumusha kurudi chini hata wewe unaweza kufanya mambo ya kijinga lakini mtu anavoumia inatakiwa unaye karibu. Yaani nimejifunza kitu kwamba mtu anavoumia amefeli maisha akarudi akasema mimi naanzia hapa. Yanawezekana mwingine asiombe chochote. Lakini wewe msaidie. Kwa sababu sio msaidia watu wanavoona nje mnaiabisha familia. Wewe na, na wenzio mnapata aibu. Funika aibu ya kaka yenu, dada yako kwa kumsaidia kwa sababu ni damu yenu uwezi kuitelekeza hata kama alikuuliza vipi potele ya mbali potezea eh potezea hata mimi niliumia nikasema sijui itakuwaje lakini nikasema hata nikisema niache nani atamsaidia eh nani ataongea naye sio kumsaidia mwingine sio kipesa tu hata kimawazo unawaambia kaka mimi niko na wewe ndio uliharibu mna sio kosea wote tumekosea kwenye haya maisha na sijui kesho mimi nitaangukia wapi kwa hiyo tuko pamoja kaka yangu kwenye maombi kwa chochote mnaomba pamoja mnaongea vizuri unapoongea vizuri na mtu ambaye umeumia unampa nguvu ya kufanya kazi ya kuinuka pale alipo na kusonga mbele kuna muda mtu anahitaji tu maneno yako mazuri sio kutamka maneno mabaya unampoteza na akipotea wewe utajisikiaje mwisho ona ameanza sehemu anaenda sehemu fulani msaidie kuanzia hapo uwezi kujua hey guys welcome back to happy housekeeper my name is happiness here in gulf thank you so much if you have not yet subscribed kindly do so what are you waiting for so guys there was This moment I was talking with one of my my co-worker in Tanzania. 
And we were talking about kids. In case you don't know, I am a mother. I have one kid. He was saying that you cannot neglect your child even if he or she has hurt you that much. Whoever have a, a child will understand this point. So I told him, if you are warning your kid, he or she is not listening, what can you do? As for me, I will just leave her or him because he's not listening. And he was saying, happy, no, you can't. And that time, it was the time that devil was operating in my head. So, when you are so angry with the life, you can do crazy things. That moment, I was going through hell, you know. So, whatever he was trying to tell me, I couldn't get it. And I was like, no, 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 no. You have to leave them. Ha! As I am growing now, you might stop talking much to her or him, but never stop praying for her or him. You never know the, the, the power you have. Even if your kid hurts you so much and he or she decided to leave the house, don't stop praying. Like my brother, he was not at home for a long time. But that doesn't mean that because he has decided to live that life, you have to abandon him. No. When you abandon your kid, he will keep on, you know, destroying his life. If you have, you have tried to talk, He's not listening. Pray. Kakangu arivarudi nyumbani. Kiukweli. Hata kama alirudi mikono mitupu. I was so happy. I was so happy. Because why? He came back alive, healthy. So I was praying for him to come back healthy. Without diseases. You know young men. Eh? You know that. Eh? As a, a sister, he is the first one to be born. I am the second one. I was hurt because you see your brother has no, you know, plan for life. His life is destroyed. You feel hurt and I was like, to hell. So he came back and he told me that I am back, but I, I have not given up for life. That was my strength. I was so happy to hear that I came back, nothing, but I have not given up. I told him the same thing that don't give up. Start from where you are. God will do something. No, it's not only my brother who has messed up in life. We have those brothers and sisters that have messed up in life. Guys, what I'm saying is, if he has come back, your brother or sister, hmm? your brother, your or sister, what's wrong with my camera? Your brother or sister came back empty hand. Receive them with your good hands. And listen to them and respect them. Support them. Okay? Support them with your good heart. Because you don't know who has given you that chance to have something. God has given you that. He can even take it from you. You can't let your brother or sister dying because he messed up. Everyone is messing up. Eh, guys, when he's saying that, I have not given up, okay? And you are there, even if you were hurt, you have to be there. Not even financially, even mentally. Talk to him. The way you talk good, you give him strength to keep going on. Instead of talking these bad words, someone is already hurt. Someone has already, you know, has nothing. He doesn't know where to start. But he's there. He might even not ask you for support. But you think, talk to him, give him something if you can. Because you have already seen he has started something. And you know he's heading somewhere. Even if your brother, he has nothing. But he's still your brother. He's still your family, your blood. The way you ne neglect him, you abandon him. People laugh at you, family. Why are you leaving your brother to live that kind of life? And you, you are somewhere happy. How can you be happy when your brother or sister is dying? He's going through hell. You can't. You can't. Even if you'll be living under madhouse, but you are happy, you have this unit, 